Hello and a very good morning from Staines Station here in Surrey. I've been taking off quite a few stations. Shut up, phone. I'm taking off quite a few stations today. I've already done Chertsey and Adelston. Let's see how the rest of my day goes. I'm staring into the sun. That's not good. But when you've got a camera, um, there's not much to do. But I have got sunglasses. They are women's sunglasses. You probably wouldn't know that, I told you. Let's see what happens. Welcome to me taking off some more stations because why not? In the board. another juniper, I have a feeling it's going to be a juniper kind of day. We take this one up to Sunnymead, then reverse to go to Raysbury, and then go to Datchet. And that'll be the Windsor line. All done. I've already done Windsor and Riverside many a time. That's classic family visit to go. Very interesting station, it's only a little single platform. Um, but yeah, um, there's not a lot here. Apart from that side. There's nothing really here. I'm going to go for a wander um, over the bridge. See if I can find anything. Let's go and have a look. If I can actually turn the camera off. Ow. So as this station is on a private street, um, I don't even want to do a lot around here. But, if I spin you that way, you can just see. This has really got that tiny villagey feel. Got a really tiny villagey feel to it. And it's very interesting. There's nothing here, there's not even a ticket office. This is definitely an unstaffed railway station. There it is. This footpath. With a cat that's just running in front of me. I think I should wander down this footpath and see if I can find anything. It's probably nothing. It's probably just a little path alongside the line. Let's have a look. I'm back in the station. I'm waiting for the 0859 service to London Waterloo. Just take one sort of Raysbury and uh, change there, I guess, onto the next train. <sighs> Good start to the day.
face break. down. Welcome to Raysbury. There's not a lot here. Um, if I'm completely honest, the sun is really bright on that side. Um, I reckon I should probably explain the stopping pattern of this light. Very, very simple. Um, two trains an hour. Um, it's quite simple. Uh, it's two trains an hour uh, to Windsor, two trains an hour to London. Um, the trains pass each other at Staines. The other place where they pass is Windsor, whereas one goes in and another one goes out. Which is why uh, I think I have to wait about six minutes here, and Dach, yeah, I mean, and again, have to wait about six, seven minutes uh, for the train heading back. But we are getting the 9.11, which is in four minutes, to our next stop, which is Dach. For a June day, it's incredibly warm, and the sun is bright today. Like, I do slightly suffer from hay fever. Luckily, I did take my tablets today. Did do that yesterday, and that went well. Um, video from yesterday is Battersea Park. Um, it was really fun to do, but then I'm back out here. I'm trying to find the sign. There it is. Anyway, that's just proof that we're at Raysbury. Right. On to the next train. Yes, another juniper. Hopefully we'll get desire and get to the running line. Raysbury. Tick. Tick. I don't know how you do it. Anyway, onto this one's a dutch it. And then we uh, reverse back to Staines. And then onto the running line. Yay. <laughs> Dutch it. That shit. Again, a bit like Sunday Meets in Raysbury. Not a lot here, but this one does seem to have a bit more of a town feel. Like just down that way. Um, entire little village town kind of thing, just over there. That's a car park. I'm pretty sure this is just like a park and ride for uh, Windsor. But uh, where's the 126 to London Waterloo? Uh, it's in about six minutes, and um, got my smart card with me. Um, let's go and see what else we can do. I'm going to change at Staines, and we're going to change onto the Reading train, maybe. I don't know. The fact that I've now touched in with my, with my smart card, I now can basically pick and choose where I want to go. So I might go down to Witten, and then uh, 
come back up. But uh, we'll see how the day goes. But yeah, next up, back onto the 920. If my calculators are correct, the next train that comes in should be our first one that we got from Staines. He's been sat in winter. There's only, there's only one other train in between my one and this one. Going down to Windsor, and that's the one I got hit to here. And they sit at Windsor, and it wouldn't have been the one that we caught at Sunnymeads, because that's just not enough time. That would have been about a 30 second turnaround, but they don't do that. So I reckon that we will be on the 926 heading out. And it should be the same train we got from Staines. So that'll be another Juniper. This day is turning into Juniper Central quite quickly. Okay. I just arrived to ask it, and I'm at Mackie's breakfast. So that 4:50 there is going to take me to it. We're going to go down to Camberley and then reverse. Okay. Now onto this 4:50. First 4:50 of the day, finally. Um, to make my way down to Camberley, we're going to reverse and come back here. I'm going to 4.50. Don't break this down. Back towards Asker, I head down the Reading line. I've got a feeling I know exactly what I want to do. I'm going to jump on. Or later, we're going to do a, a GWR run down to Windsor. So I'm meeting friends in Windsor. That was my main thing, but I had time to come in the morning. Come out and take off a few stations. The next station is Fagshot. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform edge. And if I'm going to make it around the same time as them, I need to be on the 12.57 out of Reading. 10.51 now, so I've still got two and a half, I've still got two and a bit hours before I need to get down to Reading. 
I've still got a bit of time. So we'll try and take off Winnish, Winnish Triangle and early, get those three down. And then it will probably just be Martins, Heron and Long Cross to do another day. And then what day that'll be. Anyway, back shot. I'm not getting out of here because the problem is the next train goes back towards Aldershot. And I'm not prepared to go down to Aldershot yet. At some point, probably when we do Martin Terran and Long Cross, we'll then come back and do this line. And just take it off. But yeah. Back down to this Ascot. This is back shot. This train is for Ascot only. Good. Back at Ascot. Again. Let's get the train to Reading. Here on platform 2. 11.13, 10.59, so we've got oh, 12 minutes here. Nice. I'm just about to catch here at Ascot, the 11.13 South Western Room Service in Reading. Um, on the way, carriages, so it should be a nice 450 now. Uh, I'm going for about 20 minutes, I'm going to go down to Winnish Triangle. Um, reverse back up to Winnish, then go down to um, Early. And then after that, I don't know. But I might change that route because I ideally want to end up at Reading on the way back. I want to end up on the train that is due here at 12.13. Which is in an hour, so I've basically got an hour for my train. Here comes the train. Enjoying the shots I'm doing from the floor. I've got space for the camera because I want to take a face with the train on my phone. Station is Martin's Heron. Busy train. Public's happened to about three. Let's get those chargers. The camera needs to charge me since my phone. Let's go. Onwards to somewhere. Wrong. The train was actually late. Two minutes late. Um, the old pair in the 450s that you saw there uh, passing off towards Reading. It's only one stop from the town of Reading. It's probably a parking ride. That's what I would guess. I don't have a big car park is here. Might be a parking ride, might not be a parking ride. Just feels to me like it should be a parking ride. It's only served by South Western Services, but there are Great Western ones to run non-stop, I just accidentally zoomed in on the Reading to Gatwick line they go non-stop through here and Winnish Triangle and Winnish she do get quite a lot of fast ones down here um, my train that I'm catching here early has just left Reading I'm going to be waiting here a little bit for him to turn out uh, we're going to take it down to Winnish we're going to go to Winnish, I'm not going to do Winnish Triangle today um, with the pure fact that there's apparently not much there, and um, actually, um, I don't know where that's going to hold. But the pure fact there is actually uh, not much there, so 
probably not going to be worth my time going there today, purely because I haven't got that much time left in the day. Um, so that does leave um, Windows Triangle, Martin's Heron, and Long Cross to do at another time uh, to tick off the Reading line. Um, because this is one that kind of sticks out to me quite a lot because it's quite close to where I live. Um, it's a line I use quite a lot, but I've never actually really got out these main at uh, these little other stations. I've done Bracknell for the shopping centre, and obviously you do Reading, like go anywhere uh, in the west. But I've got an idea of what I'm going to do once I've done these two, once I've done this one, I'm going to go up to Winnish, then I'm going to wait for the train coming back, and then go to Reading, and then once we do Reading, I've got an idea of what I'm going to do next, because my plan is... I'm heading for Windsor. But the problem is the southwestern route is very, very long and very, very slow. So what I was thinking of doing was potentially getting the next track was potentially getting a Great Western train from Reading to Slough Hello. and then changing there for another Great Western train to take me to Windsor from Slough that might be the best idea there's a motorway just over there which is really blooming noisy I don't know what motorway it is, maybe it's just the I think it might actually be the A329M it's very confusing. Yeah, we are waiting for the 1147 service to take me to Winnish. Let's go to Winnish. If I can tell. Well, so you haven't realised, I am my all stations jump because we are technically doing all stations. You can say that if you wish. Early. And also my train's late. Well, it just says late on the board. I hope that all it's literally just doing is waiting for my one to get into Reading before it can then go out. I hope. Fingers crossed. Hopefully there's not been a points failure at Reading and he's now been cancelled. And he's now technically been cancelled. The board says delayed. Oh, SWI, you had to break at the last minute, didn't you? It's got a nice shelter set for however long it will be. This may have to be that we'll take off Winner's Triangle instead of Winner's for the pure fact that just won't be enough time. But we'll see. We'll see how late it is. It's 11.47 now. He should be putting in now, but I don't even think he's there it, and that's at least five minutes away. Um, let's have a look. See how it goes. Hopefully, not bad. Train is running. Six minutes late. But looking at the app, I'll have a four minute turnaround at Winnish. So I'll need to be at the front of the train. I know the exit to the front. I need to be at the front of the train. To try and make it out at, um, thing, place. What's it called? Somewhere. That. I'm going somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Buenos. That's the place. Go down to Reading. SWR. Doing SWR things, I guess. Oh, what? I'm just crossing the overbridge at Buenos. I can see my train. Just down there. So, we are good. Just. So as he leaves down there, we go towards London. It'll be a quick train swap here. Because that one there is my train. We're gonna easily get a tick. I was close, but at least we made it. Right, I have to wait for another front to get the best exit 
when we get to Reading. And we come to the end of the day. Welcome to Reading, which I suppose does indeed mean the end of the day. I'll leave you with that shot. But there we go. Um, quite a lot of SWR stations kicked off today. Um, we've done, well, off camera I did Church in Alston, and then we did Raysbury, Sunny Meads, and that's it. Before we then did Ascot, Camberley, Gwynnersh, and then early to finish off the day. Yeah. Um, busy day. Um, still a few more stations to tick off, so we are definitely not done with this series. I will be back when I can with more videos from me. But I'm going to go and purchase myself a ticket to travel to Windsor, have a bit of a chill out in Reading, use the toilet, and then jump on my GWR service back towards Windsor. Thank you all very much for watching this video. If you have got to this point, um, you're incredible. Comment cucumber if you've got to the end. But I suppose until the next time, if you have been, thanks very, very much for watching. I'm going to go and purchase myself a ticket to travel, chill out a little bit in Reading, and then jump on my GWR service to head off towards Windsor. I'll see you all soon, guys. Take care. Bye bye.